Yes, brother. My name is Neto Raymond. I work in Dubai as a salesman. Now, my question is just on fasting. I just want to know how somebody can control himself by fasting from morning up to in the evening. We know very well that Jesus himself fasted for 40 days, and yet you say that Muslims are more Christians than Christians themselves. We are asking the question that Muslims, we fast from dawn to sunset, and Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, fasted for 40 days. You say that. 40 days. There is no mention of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, fasting for 40 days in the Quran. And even the Christians, when they fast, they don't fast like the Muslims do. They have a different sort of fasting, depending on what which sect you belong to. Some sects for fasting is not having non veg. Some sect, they have only boiled food. So there are different sects in Christianity which fast in different ways. I don't know of any sect in Christianity which fast for 40 days. If they fast, they may have, okay, no non-veg, only vegetables, that's their type of fasting. Some fasting is only having boiled food, that's their fasting. There are different types in different sects, but I don't know of any sects in Christianity which fast like the Muslims or neither, like they fast for 40 days continuously, like the way you're saying. Hope that answers the question, brother. The next question on the slip is a short information question from Ansari Iman, asked for Dr. Zakir Naik's email ID. The email ID, foundation islam at irf.net and my personal ID is zakir at irf.net. You can go to our website www.irf.net. IRF is the short form of the organization Islamic Research Foundation. Where do you get your books sold in Dubai? Which bookshops? From Zina. You can go on the net and Alhamdulillah, all the books are available on the net. It is free for downloading. There are material for Dawa. There are books available. I don't know the address where it's available in Dubai, but there are available if you go to Bombay. I know, and here there are some people have reprinted. I personally don't know the address, but you can go to the website and surely download all the material on the net. I recently read a report by a doctor saying that because of marriages in first cousins in Islam, it leads to a higher probability of the fetuses being born uh, as handicaps. Yeah? It increases the probability of the babies born without hands or without legs. So if it was something that could potentially cause harm, it should not have been allowed in Islam.